This morning, I was having a little trouble seeing. Now, I don't always have problems with my vision. I usually can see very well, but my eyes are really picky and there are some days where it is hard for me to see. And so I have these glasses that really are just a lens to help a little bit of magnification on the days where my eyes are a little blurry. So this morning I took them out and I put on my glasses, but I couldn't see. <laughs> it was cloudy. There was stuff on the lenses. And so I had to take them off and wipe them down to be able to see clearly. I have been thinking about that this morning as, uh, as I've been reflecting on the disciples. And we hear all these different stories of the ways that Jesus showed up to them after the resurrection, and yet they missed who Jesus is in their presence, right? They, they don't recognize him. They don't see it as Jesus standing before them until he speaks certain words that ring true to their hearts or he begins to say things, break bread in front of them that all of a sudden then opens their eyes, opens their hearts to that, that revelation that Jesus is standing truly before them. I was wondering how many times that happens in our lives where we put on our glasses hoping to see clearly, um, but there is something in between a film and it keeps it blurry for us. It's hard for us to completely see. It's hard for us to see God in our presence. And, and I wonder what that is for, for you that helps you have that revelation, that kind of breaks open that moment and helps you be able to see a little bit more clearly. Maybe it is a, a certain song that just kind of snaps you into remembering God's goodness and grace. And you're able to see clearly in that moment God in front of you. Maybe it is listening to a story from somebody else about how God showed up for them. And all of a sudden you realize that God was in your midst. There's this show, uh, Saturday Night Lights. I don't know if you've seen it. It was an, uh, a show here a few years ago on NBC. And, and one of the sayings that they always said, it was a football team. And one of the things that they always said before they played was, um, Clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. Clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. That can apply to our faith as well, right? Clear eyes, being able to see God um, everywhere that we are, being able to see the way that God is present with us. Full hearts, having that love of God that is grounded, that grounds us, that um, grounds the way that we interact with people in the world, the way that we are able to um, share that love with others can't lose. If we have those clear eyes of seeing God, of God revealed in us, through us, in our world, full hearts, God's love with us, within us, and also out in the world, we can't lose. We can't lose. But our eyes have to be open. Our hearts have to be full of God's love. So my prayer for you this week comes from Ephesians chapter 1. And it says this, I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him, so that with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know what is the hope to which he has called you. What are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints? And what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe? according to the working of his great power. That is my prayer for you, my friends, that your eyes and hearts will be enlightened to the ways in which God is at work in your life. God revealed in your life that there is that hope that we can all hold on to, that we are called to, and that there is that power that we believe in. So as you go forward into this week, May your eyes be open to the ways in which God is with you. May your heart be full of God's love. And may you share that love with others, telling them your stories so they too can see the revealed risen Christ at work. God bless.